My name is Bill Martin. I'm Chief Scientific Officer for Blackthorn Therapeutics, where I head research and development. We are a venture-backed company focused on creating novel therapies for uh, neurobehavioral disorders, really uh, the spectrum from autism through to schizophrenia. I really saw the potential to create something new in terms of uh, neurotherapeutics coming off the heels of tremendous progress in fundamental basic neuroscience research that's happened over the last you know, five or ten years. And interestingly enough, that, that, that progress actually coincided with the withdrawal of many of the large pharma companies uh, from uh, out of the, the neuroscience area. Those that have remained have remained primarily focused on neurodegeneration, which is obviously still a major unmet need. But for me, looking at the opportunities um, around individuals who have uh, neurobehavioral and psychiatric conditions uh, that are still unmet by existing therapies was really the draw to help uh, start Blackthorn Therapeutics. Neurocircuit types of studies to me are the, are the foundation of this future that really holds so much progress. Um, the opportunity to begin to start to understand these complex disorders by looking at um, the way in which different cells and brain regions communicate with each other, uh, this is really what I think will guide our understanding of a patient population. And when we think about creating you know, targeted therapies for those individuals, we're really thinking about understanding what's specific about their dysregulated circuits that might be amenable to, to modulation or to improvement. The challenges around neuroscience are um, a couple of fold, and, and some of which are specific to neuroscience. The first is that where there aren't therapies, often that means there hasn't been a clear regulatory pathway to therapies. And so um, one has to always appreciate that the, the technological changes, the advances in our understanding, they need to be coupled with advances in regulatory science so that regulators are recognizing different ways to think about developing uh, novel therapies. The second is that um, neuroscience has suffered for a long time uh, having the lower probability of success, a, a very long development timelines, and, uh, and as a consequence, a lower return on investment. And I think that's translated into a real mismatch between the, um, the disease burden, if you will, across society with the investment that's being made, both public and private sectors. And when that kind of disparity occurs, to me that reflects uh, essentially the paradigm of a neglected disease. And so we need to think about, you know, from a uh, intellectual property standpoint, how do we incentivize uh, uh, companies, uh, entities to really invest and know that there can be a return on their investment. So coupling regulatory progress with maybe some changes around uh, intellectual property. I mean, having trained as a neuroscientist um, and you know, going into this field because I fundamentally wanted to understand the brain and then ultimately moving into industry because I wanted to make my impact, positive impact on society by creating novel therapies, what excites me most is is being on this forefront of, of change, you know, being able to leverage some of the technological advances that have occurred um, really for the benefit of, of a set of patients that have for a long time, I think, been neglected. <music>